Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner and welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Today we're going to do a tabletop Sunday Chit Chat and I've got a new filming um, device set up so we're going to be a little bit further back at the table and I, the reason I thought we would do a tabletop is because I wanted to show you guys um, some pres I'd had requests to show you how I colored how I color with my colored pencils. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you that since I was packing it up to go to the doctor's office with Pukachu tomorrow. Anyway, and I thought, oh, now's a good time to show you guys, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to show you um, some cards that I got in the mail this week. So um, let's get started. Happy Sunday. What'd you do last week? Oh my god goodness you guys were busy 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 you guys were super busy all the after Christmas hauls I saw um, yeah you guys were super super busy so what did I do well you guys know what I did I did work out every day I'm gonna do a um, a coffee vlog um, maybe later today and post it for tomorrow I think um, I wanted to let everybody know if I owed you a package, it is out. I have shipping, um, I have uh, tracking numbers if you would like them. Just email me and I'll send it over to you. But if I owed you a package, it has been shipped. Okay, so there's that. I got a little bit behind on that with the vacation and then the, um, you know, the Pikachu stuff. What else happened this week? Do you guys remember in the car vlog where I told you that I had done an upright bike at the gym and I thought mm, maybe it wasn't such a great idea? Yeah, that was the understatement of the century. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, tomorrow, Pikachu has his appointment to get his catheter and that will be and then we see the doctor at one o'clock so we'll know everything we need to know then. Um, which has really messed up my mojo and my mood for sure. So I haven't done too much in the craft room. Um, but like I said, I was getting some stuff together to put in my bag to take with me because I'm probably going to be gone most of the day. And during downtime, you know, or when I'm super nervous, you guys know I like to color. So what I do when I go out on the road is I carry um, my, I have a, large package of Prisma pencils that I keep here. I'll show you in a minute. And then I have a smaller package. And I've got these pencils out because I'm going to work with them in just a minute with you guys. But I keep them in the original can. It's a 24 set can. But I actually have probably 40 pencils in here. Um, I've got the original what came in it plus some added ones that I've thrown in including a blender, a charcoal, a black, a white, you know, just other things that I need, a flesh color, you know, things like that. But I keep them in this tin. This is how I carry it in my purse, my bag. I keep an eraser, which is a Prismacolor eraser. I keep a blender stump. I keep a um, kneaded piece of rubber and a, a very sharp um, steel uh, pencil sharpener. And I also have a little baggie in my purse to catch the catch the droppings. So, um, and I this blender stump is usually in here as well. So I have a fine one and a fatter one that I keep in this thing. And then I just close it up and I go. Now, I don't take my blending solution with you. I'm going to ship my Gamsol. This is the little one. I keep it. I have a bigger bottle that I fill up. Um, I'm going to show you how I blend with this and show you the differences that it makes in just a few moments. So this is what I'm going to be packing. This, These go in here as well. And for me, this is um, the perfect. I can just throw it in my pocketbook and I have a little baggie of stamped images, something like this, just little images, little pieces of paper that I can cut out later. This one I did color with Prisma pencils. It's a little balloon. We're going to recolor it, this one up here, so you can see it. And that was done with just two colors. So you, as you can see, it's super, it's super pretty. And then I also like to carry around one of these little books. So this is probably a four and a half by five and a half inch little um, coloring book. And I got this one at um, 
Tuesday morning. I think I did actually pay $2.99 for it. And it's just the perfect size to stick in there with everything and you can, it's not so big to color. Plus I always have a little package of little things like this that I can color and this gives me a surface to lean it on to color it, you know? So that's really nice. And this is the one I started working on this morning um, that I'm gonna finish up tomorrow. I just kinda wanted to lay out where, I wanted it to look like you're looking, really looking down into the flower. So I added some depth and I haven't blended anything out yet. This is just my first layer of color. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be working on, but it just gives you a whole bunch of different images to color. Some of them I may like, some of them I may not like, but I just keep them all in here. And it gives me a place to color when I'm nervous. So I enjoy that. All right, so I'm gonna show you my cards that I got in the mail and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I color with my pencils. I'm just gonna be using a couple of these for today. I was using all four of these for that image right there. So if you're curious on this image right here, the colors that are on here, they, they turn out to be extremely vibrant, um, is number 922, 924, 918, and 916. Okay, so it's a yellow, an orange, a poppy red, and a dark red. That's what I'm using on this one. I'm just going to use the two color reds on the balloon though. All right, so there's that. Now, let me show you. So I got some happy mail this week. The first one I got was from um, Tina who is part of the Happy Mail um, on Facebook. So if you go over to Facebook, she does the, um, she does, has a Facebook page that I'll link below that says Happy Mail, and one of her little gems fell off. It goes right there. But she sent me this cute little card in this really shiny pink envelope, super pretty. And the card is a camera. Hold on. I think. Yeah, I'm opening it wrong. So it, it came chocked full of these little stickers. <laughs> Aren't they super cute? All of these little stickers. But let me show you the card first. So the card is actually a camera. And it says smile. So isn't that cute? The little flash. The little hold to look in. Um, it's just gorgeous. And then this, of course, was part the lens, and that was the little bead that fell off of it. And then when you open it up, it has your message in it. And it's a birthday card. So it is from Tina and Diamond from Happy Mail, and that's a Facebook group. Tina's also here on um, YouTube. So I will link her channel and the Facebook page that she does this on down below. So thank you, Tina. Thank you, Diamond. It was such a surprise to have a card in the mail. It made my day. And then soon after I received this one. Oh yeah, I want to show you all the little stickers. Such cute little stickers she stuck in there. So cute. Um, I'm actually going to include these in for Mel. I'm going to pass it along and um, send it over for the kids at the hospital because I think that they could use it there as well. So I'm going to send that. I'm going to pass that along if you don't mind, Tina. And then I received a, another birthday card from... My birthday's not yet, guys, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, it's coming up, but it's not here yet. It'll be here next week. This one, look at that gorgeous she offset the butterfly so it's been it's been stamped in this beautiful color which you all know is my favorite color and then it's um, a double layer and then she added this border and the trim here and again just have a great birthday and this is from Jennifer Snyder and she's also from the Happy Mail Facebook page um, and I think not sure on this. This card is from Jennifer Snyder, okay? That's what it's signed. But I know that they do a card swap. I believe this card was actually made by Wendy Casper, okay? So I wanted to just throw that in there as well. But isn't it gorgeous? Who doesn't love getting a gorgeous card for their birthday? So sweet. So thank you so much. I think it's actually Gwen. Hold on. 
No, it's Jennifer. Jennifer Snyder. Jennifer. Thank you so much, Jennifer. So that one. And then I received another birthday card. This one is from Kathy Randall. And again, this is from, I believe this is from Happy Mail from the Heart. Yes, Happy Mail from the Heart, which is the same group, Happy Mail, Happy Mail from the Heart. And she sent me this little card here with the pretty little birthday cake on it. You take the cake and it just says, wishing a special person a wonderful day, happy birthday, wishing you a very merry birthday, Kathy Rendell from Happy Mail from the Heart. And then she included this little quote that says, once in a lifetime, one should be allowed to have as much sweetness as one can possibly want and hold. Judith Owensley. I'm going to have to look that quote up, but isn't that beautiful? So I got that. All of these were this, this last week, guys. And then I got a thank you note. And this thank you note is from, um, I'm actually not going to give Cindy's last name because I don't think it's on her YouTube page. Um, it's from Candy. Candy Tiggs is her YouTube page. And look at this. Isn't that stinking adorable? This little doily die looks like tulips. If you look, it looks like little tulips. It's just beautiful. The little thank you is gorgeous. The little image. Look at that color. Oh my God. It's such a vivid pink. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I love her little shoes too. So she did a great job with that. She fussy cut her out, and I just think she's beautiful. And it's um, just thanking me for the prize. Um, she loved everything. She can't wait to play with them. And um, big hugs, Candy. So thank you, Candy. This is going up on my shelf. I just love it. Thank you so much. So that was the cards that, oh, that was the cards that I received last week. So I just wanted to say a, a very special thank you. It's always so much fun to get a letter in your mailbox, you know. So that was super special. Thank you, guys. All right. Now, I'm not sure how long I've been talking already. So let's get on with this. So I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm just, I got to keep everything up here now, which is not in my comfort zone. My comfort zone is down here, but because I'm trying to stop some of the shaking on the table, my camera's now mounted to the wall above me and up, and um, it only reaches so far. So right here is where I have to be, all right? So these are the only two colors that we're going to use for this. I'm gonna color this balloon the same way. So I'm just gonna go in and show you what I did. The first thing that I do is I just kind of go in and I just kind of outline my image a little bit with my darkest color to give it a little bit of depth. Now you have to keep in mind, guys, that um, one, I don't see well, and two, I am so not an expert. Absolutely no, um, no reason to take what I say as being the way to do it because I'm just playing along just like you guys are. So that's usually how I start. And then I go ahead in, and this is with my lighter color red, and this is the 922, and I'm just going to just color it in all the way. And I normally just do it very soft and light and maybe like big ovals is how I would say that I color it in. Now the thing about Prismacolor pencils, and these are the soft core Prismacolor pencils, the thing about the Prismacolor pencils are one, they are extremely vibrant, two, they are very easy to blend, but you have to lay it down you've got to get your um, colors down there and then they blend together very nicely but as you can see right now it didn't really blend with this red color right here the darker of the color it's because there's not enough wax down on the paper yet so it really is going to take some layers to get that done now i'm not worried about this layer because i'm going to be going back over this because my balloon is going to be dark red so as you can see from right here i'm wanting my lighter section to be right in here somewhere 
So I'm going to start focusing my darker color over on this side. And to do that, I just do the same thing. I come in, I try to grab right at the edge of that where the dark red already was, and I go in these little circles. And I start building my color up. And I don't go back over that light area right now. Over, I don't go over it at all, actually, for this small of an image. For some of my other images, I would, definitely. And I like to make sure that all the way up to that black line is covered. And I'm just going to keep going around and blending it all together. And then when I think I've got enough color on there, which I do right now, now I have two choices. I can go back in with my light color and feather it all in, which is going to make that a little bit darker. I could do that. I could take my blending stump and just color it in with nothing on it and blend it all in, which would make it more muted. Or I could take a coloring pencil, with a colorless pencil, um, colorless, it's called a colorless pencil, it's actually a colorless pencil blender, and I could go all the way around it, building up the wax and blending it that way. If I had too much color, I could use my putty, my little Prisma putty here, and I could take away some of the color with this. Or I could use my Gamsol and I could just blend it all together and make it smooth like a Copic would be. Okay, so that's what I did here, so that's what I'm going to do here, and then I'm going to show you with the blended pencil on the third one. Alright, so all you're going to do is take your um, pencil, and you can sharpen these with a um, fingernail file if you want. That's how you just keep going on with them if you have a different color on there. So I'm just going to get it wet. So I'm just kind of mixing it in with the Gamsol, getting this wet. And then I'm going to start over on this side and I'm just going to blend again in little circles and I'm going to go all the way around this image and then when I'm super happy with that I'm going to bring it all together and that's why I did not want to do any more coloring on that side so see, and that's how I would do that. And then I would leave that alone and throw some glossy, axon, glossy accents on it and call it a day. All right, so now let's do the same thing here, only this time we're going to blend it out with the pencil. All right, so again, I'm just going to go ahead and take my darkest color and just kind of outline all the way around the balloon. Oh Lord, I hope I'm in frame right there. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take my lightest color red and I'm just going to go in and going to color it. Now, here's the other thing too. I hear a lot of people say that they want to keep their um, pencils very, very sharp and um, have a very sharp point on it. I actually like to have my pencils with a very soft point on it. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm not an expert. But when I have a sharp when I have a sharp edge on my pencil, I feel like I don't get as much blending on it. So again, I'm going to keep there's actually going to be much darker right here. So my lighter section is just going to be right here for this one because this balloon is behind this balloon, I want to make that just a little bit darker right there. Now, you could have gone a different realm and made the balloons look like they were on top of each other. 
like they were a little see-through. I'm making mine to look like they're just straight up big old rubber balloons. Alright, so as you can see, right about there is where I'm going to have the shadow be. Alright, so then we're going to come back in with our darker red, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to come in, and all the way around, we're going to do these little circles. Just to get the wax on top of each other, to get it all layered on there. And even if you just did that, look how that, that already looks good. Just like that. Not it, even if you didn't do anything else. And then you could take your colorless blender. Now this is, you could also use a white crayon and get the same effect, but with the white crayon, it's gonna turn this a little bit pink. So this is called a colorless blender, and it doesn't have any color in it, it's just the wax. So you would do that in the same process. You're just gonna take it, and you're gonna blend. You're gonna blend all those colors that you have down there. and you're going to start blending them into the center. And there you go. Just like that. Super pretty, huh guys? And then again, I would put, and you could also put a little bit of a white highlighter on there if you wanted to. And then I would throw some glossy accents on there. And that's how I color with my Prisma pencils or with any pencils. Now when I'm doing critters, a lot of times I will do, again, my darkest color on the outside. And then I will just do little lines or little circles, you know, to try to get little fur in there. But that's how I do it. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think. And um, do you take your coloring stuff with you when you go? When you go somewhere, do you think about that? It's a, a super awesome thing to do because, you know, it is, um, it's relaxing, especially if you go to doctor's offices and stuff. Now, sometimes I was going to show you guys this, so let me put these back. Sometimes what I do um, is... I'll switch out some of my colors. So the, how I do that, because I have this, I have a big container. I have the 150, and then I have the 24. And with the 24, I have extras that I've purchased one um, at a time, just because I wanted it for this set. But sometimes I'm working on just a specific page, and um, or a specific color group, like all turquoises or something. That's when I would go into my box and I would just take those that I have, like if I were working on all greens, I would grab those and I would stick them in this case, removing what was in here and just travel with those. If I was working on a large picture or, you know, like tomorrow, I'm only gonna be working on that one picture probably. And that's just with those color oranges and red. So. But yeah, I, I invested in this one because I enjoyed the Prisma so much. So, you know, it's something you have to think about. Um, I had the, the Spectrum Nord pencils at one time as well, and I liked them also, but I was, this was a gift from my children, the big one, because I had the small one and enjoyed them so much. Um, so I used them, but yeah, so that's how I do that. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have had a great day today. And I will, um, like I said, later today I'll be posting a coffee chit chat if you're interested in that. And yeah, that's how I color my little images for with my Prisma colored pencils. That, that was a request. So there you go. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.